All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Alan Wake 2. Um, this should be the end of the game. Uh, last episode was pretty crazy. Had a nice little fight sequence there at the end as uh, Saga, and then we flipped over into Alan's world, which was a lot. But, yeah. If you guys haven't seen the end of last episode, uh, definitely go check it out. It was a lot. Uh, mentally, I actually had a headache. I had to, I had to take a I had to take a take a nap after that. But here it is, guys. We're back. Uh, we're gonna be jumping in, finishing this up. And uh, again, I do appreciate all the love, all the support. Uh, if you guys haven't, hey, make sure you smash that like button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, let's jump back into this. <clears throat> All right, let me take a peek in here. Oh, I do have the flare gun. There's no flares, okay. Yeah, we unlocked this thing in the um in that little crazy sequence, and then I I I checked my inventory. I swear I didn't have it anymore, but I might have checked my quick slot inventory here, and I just didn't see it, and and just assumed I didn't have it. Let's keep it moving. Before we do that, you know what's crazy too, guys, is um, I just had for the first time in my life candy bar. It was just a little piece too, and it was delicious, guys. Have any of you guys ever had this? These. Too bad it wasn't like a full size one. I think it was delicious. Oh, you guys hear no sound? All right, give me a second. How is my my whole sound panel on my stream it is just not even there? It just doesn't exist. Um, uh, no, it was, uh, yeah, the. The sound was messed up because when I did that stream with Undead Labs yesterday, I had to tweak some of my uh, my settings, and I never set them back. So, let's do this. Was the lag really, really bad? Okay, so restore 50, 50 health for each 
second when using a uh, flashlight boost on Hostile Shadow. Um, provides 10% chance to stun enemies with flashlight boost. Provides 50 to 75%. Not bad either. Uh, I've been trying to get this uh, flashlight like upgrade going. But I think we'll go for the health. I could see the Ocean View Hotel. I was getting close. How do we get down off this roof there, Alan? will lead us somewhere different. The lights affected where the door led to. We go okay that worked I could use that shotgun. Oh, yes, I could use that shotgun. The bar menu caught my eye. Nothing else in here that I can see. Shotgun, $19. What? that Casper how you doing it's good to see you okay let's go ahead and get the shotgun right there we don't have any ammo for it really we got the two shots it came with and that's about it there we go asking you shall receive Miguel with the gifted, thank you so much. How you doing today? Oh. Trying to not use any resources on this shadow. Man, this thing is fast as hell. I feel like I don't know the code. 
think we're okay. Ocean View Cocktail. Maybe that has a clue to what the code is. Dropped them. Let's see what the number is for the Ocean View cocktail. Two five five zero. Day's going good so far. Uh, I don't know the past like I don't know if it's daylight savings or what. But the past few days, like my daughter has like a cold. So um I thought that me and like the wife, everybody just kind of felt like crap overall, just trained and exhausted. But I don't know if it's that or if it's just daylight savings got me messed up. So I woke up at like seven o'clock in the morning this morning. It was like six thirty actually. And I just like I, went, I came, I was gonna start streaming earlier, guys, and I was just like, Yo, I'm so fucking tired. And I just went, and took a nap for like 30, 40 minutes, just feeling like crap. But yeah, I don't know if it's the the time change that's messing me up, got me feeling tired or or what. But hold on, let me get my thing up real quick. Or if it's some kind of sickness, because... Absolutely just... Feeling like death, guys. There we are. The room was empty except for the projector. More games. Was the film a message waiting to be played? I kind of don't even want to play it, chat. I'm scared now. <sighs> I mean, highly, highly unlikely. That it'll be anything 
of what I think it is. You know what I mean? Okay, it already doesn't look very promising. Um... Shadow and mist. There's a window in the floor and a door in the ceiling. There's no knowing. Am I standing still or running or kneeling? What? You're the one who's been calling me. Indeed. I'm Tom Zane. Welcome to the house of Zane. The poet. The diver. You look like me. How the hell... Or maybe you look like me, you handsome devil. The diver was a beloved character I played in one of my films. I'm a filmmaker. A celebrated auteur. I need answers. Why is Return so important? What, Al? You, you always get worked up like this. Come on, I'll fix you a drink. We're in this together. Two artists collaborating, remember? Crafting the keys to our escape. Your magnum opus, Return, and its, its companion piece, my film. Sharing our, our life-altering visions, a, a melding of higher minds. Creaming up our transcendental work of art. Here, in this room. In this room, in this room, in this room, in this room, in this room. And that is how the magic happened. Enough of this bullshit. Alice is in danger. I need another murder site to go further. Back to Parliament Tower. Scratches! Your wife is safe back in the real New York. But Scratch is reaching for her through an overlap. Return is the key to escaping the dark place. You need to get it before that freak does. <sighs> There's a murder site here in the hotel. Let the waves of your riding carry you there. You were never here. Thomas Zane had ended our talk in what felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed from him. There was another murder site in the hotel to guide me further toward my escape. I had to write my way to it. Whispers 
from the police radio kept me awake at night. The word through the ether. A murder in the backdrop of a play featuring a murder cult. <laughs> How meta can you get? He said, looking knowingly at the camera. I could sense the cult of the word in this, and their leader, Mr. Scratch. Rumored to be Alan Wake, the writer who'd gone missing years before. The hotel was a perfect setting for a Casey story. I was on the right path. I would start at the entrance lobby. I'm, I'm I'm mad confused, Richie. I don't even know what to say. Um, this game has had some moments where it's been uh, quite confusing. The entrance hall set the mood where everyone had come in: the victim, the murderer, the detective. An idea, clear as a vision, waited for me here. So we gotta find a little black dot. Let's see it anyway. Up oh, there it is. It's in that uh, room in there. me our performance of the cult was cursed from the pre-show ritual on the cult is an immersive theatrical experience uh huh you're gonna have to walk me through what that means immersive theater a play where the audience can participate spread across this hotel the cult is a legend the only written copy of the manuscript lost, the play is passed on as oral tradition between theater companies. Each company only performs it once. The play was said to have special power. You were like kids playing with a Ouija board. And when you call for the devil, he will come. The pre-show ritual, that's it. Set it up, start from the beginning. So let's get that going here. Pre-show ritual. Everyone is invited. Layers upon layers. A play about a murder cult infiltrated by a real murder cult. I always expect these rooms to have like loot in them and they never do. Alan Wake. A lot of shadows here. Uh, so what I'll do is. Wake.
The room at the end of the corridor was closed off. It felt significant. Something terrible would happen there. I couldn't get in. I was missing something. Uh, room 101. So a few different rooms here that we probably need to the keys for. 107. This game is very, it has a lot of aspects that are very Resident Evil. We're gonna have to raid our way into this somehow, though. So we're gonna have to try to think of another way. Uh, let's see, final scene. We show ritual. The story was affecting the scene. The prop room had been changed from room Four. 104 to room 225. The troop were busy building their own wicker man, where they themselves would be sacrificed. Does this 104 key still work, though? Hundred grand is a classic candy. It was my first time ever having one. Um, and I gotta admit, guys, they're pretty delicious. Like the little crispy bits and the caramel. It's like I don't know. I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like really, really chocolatey. And then I ate it, and I was like, wow, this thing is absolute legend. I wonder if room 104 would have different contents in the other realm or in the other thing. Oh, here we go. Yeah, two, two. Be open on the side. They want to do it to him, chat. You guys know me, I'm all about peace. And these guys are just going straight to violence.
This is where they gathered before the play. This is where it began. The Allen shit is confused, and man, use the phase shift here, and somehow it brings you across the way. supposed to be on the other side when I did that. Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom. Did we summon the same thing? Tapped into something horrifying. It, it seemed like it was part of the play, but it wasn't. Does that sound crazy? You don't want to ask me about crazy, kid. A haunted hotel. Yes. That's a trope for a reason. I mean, we didn't we don't need to have a haunted hotel. We could definitely do this more. We could do this a different way. Not that I'm against haunted ho hotels, but. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm against haunted hotels, actually.
Definitely want the flare ammo. Swings, a special place for shifting space, existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Sometimes a quaint small town, sometimes a hulking metropolis. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there. And yet, like a half remembered echo of a fading dream, always familiar to us. These are the stories that take place there awe inspiring, macabre. Terrifying, heartbreaking, nail-biting, absurd, and thrilling. Sometimes all of these things at once. A haunting new season of mind-bending episodes written by Alan Wake. I am your host, Warland Dorr, and I will see you soon in... The Twilight Zone. Night Springs. <laughs> I don't know why that sure reminded me of the Twilight Zone. Even like the way the writing was. That new modern Twilight Zone show is actual fire. I don't know if any of you guys have ever watched it. Um, uh, Black Mirror. The last season wasn't that great. Um, I thought it was probably the weakest out of all of them. You gotta be I couldn't add a new shift. element from here. I'd have to go to the scene. So we got all these rooms here. That brings us back down to the first floor. Let's get to go check this wing now. Key. Right over here.
Isn't the sheriff dude the one that was humming? Why is it gotta be so weird? Hey, Alan. Are you How's the memory doing? Sorry, who are you? Kidding. Good to see you, Tim. <laughs> you had me going. I mean, for real though, chat. Like, if if you were to walk into a a, a place, and there was a guy standing there humming like that in this creepy ass situation, you, you just being real, chat. I probably, probably would have shot him. Cozy place you got here. You know, your disappearance from Bright Falls is still the only thing that folks talk about. Well, that and Deerfest. Is this where you ended up back in 2010? You know about that? I am the sheriff of Bright Falls. Or I was. Are you related to Sarah Breaker? She was the sheriff of Bright Falls back in 2010. Yeah, she's my cousin. I had a police sketch made of Dor based on my dreams. I sent it around and Sarah recognized the face from an old case file from the 80s. I moved out there to look into it and became sheriff after she left to join the feds. So Deerfest is still a thing? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's bigger than ever. You know, I got zapped here right before it was about to happen. Funny, me too. So, What was in the case file about Dor? Not a lot of details in it. A local man named Warland Dorr went missing near Cauldron Lake. Eyewitnesses claim he was struck by a bolt of lightning and just vanished. I never found any official records of a Warland Dorr living in town or anywhere. Another dead end. Second floor is good. There's a couple spots down here on the first floor. Did I just get a key for 101? 209. So we don't got 101's key yet. The ballroom would be the stage of a key scene in the play. That's 101's key. Okay. So now we can head down to 101. Let me, uh... This... I want to go and grab that, uh... Let me store a couple of things. Make some, make some more space. I don't even know what I want to store. All of this is 100% necessary right now. I could store the shotgun to temporary have temporarily have some extra space for loot. Then I'm gonna kind of leave myself hanging. I'll be all right. Temporary thing, just for a few seconds, so we go loot out this room downstairs. <laughs> Enjoying Alan. I mean, I didn't mind the musical. It was. It wasn't like. I wasn't upset about it. It was just. Uh, I wasn't ready for it, mentally. Just not what I expected, you know? So yeah, 225 right here. We switch back in this, it'll bring us down. Down to the first floor. 
but what? This door. Now we're back to the door. Signal player ammo there. Painkillers. Got a lot of extra stuff. I'm gonna store up a box of that. Shotgun back. Now the only thing knows my inventory is gonna be completely full. I'll leave myself a little bit of room. Just have to pick something up. So, this is an investigation over here somewhere. off and haunted too. Let's go scope out that ballroom.
change it. For the cult one first. They had practice on Sunday. I thought you were checking it. What were my thoughts on Undead Livestream yesterday? I had a good time. I had a good time. The cult in the play was called the Cult of the Tree. With their deer masks, they were the backwoods echo of the cult of the words urban horror. Okay, so this doesn't look like the one, so obviously we're gonna have to switch it to haunted. Here we go, we got something. my writer's room on the stage. What was the... I said you got here. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. I got a big time celebrity to play him, and he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm -hmm. And who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess, Alan Wake? I wish I could tell you, but turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was, shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that. The devil. Changing a plot element in a scene without being there was impossible. Switch it over to the devil. I had to be at the scene to see and understand it. Oh, in order to ballroom. change it. Writing. This is Scratch mocking me. I'm not gonna lie, though, no chap. We fought Scratch, and that dude is absolutely OP. Like, I mean, we couldn't hurt him at all. We had to literally just dodge. 
and turn lights on. That took a bunch of damage. What flag was there? Oh, was there one of those words of power up there? Yeah, there's one of those words of power. Should have seen that on the map. This place is tore up. I'm gonna go change the entrance scene to Devil 2, see if there's any... My run, the Devil's path up the staircase was draped in blood. up a new I see exit no. Damn, that was a lot of damage.
switch this one to the devil. Move the body, dude. Anytime you switch it. I'll take it still blocked then. The devil walked through the hotel. Dragging the whole place to hell with him. of a new idea here. Mr. Scratch, if that's who the actor playing the devil was, had stayed in the hotel. Asking around at reception got me a room number. Hmm. 666. He had requested that room specifically. The devil had a sense of humor. Or he really didn't. It was funny either way. According to the director, the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. He had only come out for the play. And always in character. Scratch had been there. I could sense his presence lingering in the room. I was about to have another killer idea. Climax of the play. The leading lady. Oh, it was an honor to get to work with her. 
a grand dame for sure. She went back a long time, kept insisting she had seen the long lost original script of the play. She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. That was her role in the play. The muse. She was staying in room 108, where the murder happened. The set of the final scene, right. The devil comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene, executed with devastating mastery. And all leading up to him, meeting his muse. It turns out he knew her. He'd only join the play to get to her. To murder her. Thank you again. The dark presence had come for me. Drawn to the story I was writing as it grew darker. The muse was the murder victim. The final scene took place in room 108. Asking too many freaking questions. Not letting us proper police take care of it. This is our chance to make the powers that be happy. We'll be set for life. Part of the inner circle. Well, amen to that, partner. I like it. And so will the fraternity, the club, the word. Our dear friends with many names. The way I see it, it was a lone nut job. A junkie out of his mind on some fancy new designer drug. Open and shut case. All we gotta do now is dump the evidence from room 108 in the usual place in the alley.
Looks like that place that uh Saga was in the underground tunnel there. So, who runs slower, Brian? Jill from Resident Evil or Alan oh, Wake? Oh man. Winking face. Yo, they're like the same terrible speed. But I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna give it to Jill, because Jill just ran like her situation was way worse. She should have been running way faster than that. They're both so bad. Well, Army Gal, thank this you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. There was a record at the bottom of the bathtub, beneath the body. Really? Somehow, it was important. So what is so important about this murder site, seeing as we just walked past 10,000 dead bodies? Oh, maybe the... Oh, there's that old lady that... We fought... Another step. Somehow I was closer to home, closer than ever before. It's you again, the FBI agent, Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You helped me get closer to escaping. Wait. Are we right. still trapped? We have the clicker. We can figure it out. You know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the dark presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write the story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find Return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. The story. You can do that. You can write out. It lasted only for a moment, like two planets Definitely passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me, helping me go deeper, closer to escape. Somehow, I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of her turn. here again zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping i had to get it before scratch did Glory here had they chosen, I chosen to pursue the cult or had they chosen me for some unknowable purpose to be a demon to sort the clues based on my interpretation to change that which i observed it was all a play Shadows on the wall of the cave, an echo of the true events that happened somewhere else. Was I there to watch the shadows, or was I a shadow too? In a performance set up for someone else. No, yeah, Brandon, uh, that was the other side of the conversation that uh, Saga had. But yeah, you it, it was completely off. Like, he didn't pick up a single thing she was trying to pick, say, and he didn't pick up a single thing she was trying to say, so... 
They are absolutely on different pages right now. I'll just take stairs, dude. I want to get in the, the shady elevator to just open without the button being pushed. I think they just need another musical to connect it all. No, yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe we can find it. Maybe they can find a different way to connect it all. Alice had turned the bathroom into a dark room. Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in. Even after he moved out west. Barry was trying to get them cheeks. Barry was trying Alice's to get those dead husband cheese. The apartment. Her whole life. some cartoon animal and I looked out at the street below and I saw a little girl crying like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world it was the perfect image of the horror of caring and that's when I got myself out of bed 
and I picked up my camera. I mean, that's that's a little dark. Darth Vader, what's going on? Athena, how you doing today? Script of a novel. Return. A horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out, people would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. The memory of my edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Scratch was there, at Parliament Tower, undoing my work. He could use the story to escape. He could go after Alice. Zane has said we worked on Return together. That was a lie. Scratch wrote return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation.
or Darth. No, I had, did not finish uh, Arkham Origins. I don't have time for this, so let's get it over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you, but we can stop pretending now. Uh, masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think you know who's under your mask, but you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules, endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky, you know. There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. Myself. Your wife. Alice. I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. Because of you. And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. You keep opening doors, peeking in, reaching through to get what you want, and that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. The next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wake. Whatever you say. Door, Zane, the masks were finally coming off. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste. door wouldn't budge. Last, you won't be. Uma, wow, that that held you close, Tom. Eh, but a con, what set the cranny in the snow? When the panic is biggest, the help is also near. What? Door didn't seem happy to see me this time. Hearing the master is the root of wisdom, but don't let the game get you down. He's playing his role. 
Maybe put him in your film, Tom. Like you have put me. Sehän olisikin. What films? <laughs> I'm a fan of your masterworks. Uh, there is Tom the Poet, my favorite, and Yöten Yö is the most famous one, of course. And is it true what I hear? That it's coming back to cinema soon? Is there a bottom to this rumor? I need to get back to my apartment. Can you help me? Well, plan is half done. You asked me to make sure you won't forget the... Uh, the... se valokuva oli? The light pictures. The photos you artist wife took. Uh, they are waiting in the shoe box in the basement. What you leave behind, you find in front of you. Okay. Thanks, Adi. I ain't gonna lie, chat. I heard the music and it kind of scared me a little bit. find a murder site. Same would know where to find one. Go back? Wait, what did I miss? Was I supposed to grab the light pictures? Good story here. Somewhere. Inside this messy maze of blood trails I was chasing the cult through, I ran into the filmmaker. Thomas Zane, an esoteric bohemian with a hard-on for acts of cruelty performed in the name of occult nonsense. A director wants to control every aspect of the world in their films. Is a cult leader any different? Was Zane just another alias for scratch? There was a rumor that Wake and Zane had been working on something together. I was going to get the truth out of Zane, with whatever means necessary.
Which game do I? Um, I'd probably say Alan Wake is worse than all of those games. At least this one. The first one, not so much. The second one's definitely a bit of a mind trip. Um, the Evil Within was pretty good, but uh, yeah, I'd definitely put Alan Wake's. I don't know how to get to the basement here. That's what I thought. I thought there was a set of stairs to go down here, but it was a window. And see, that always leads into there. Where's the door to go down the stairs? Oh, it's right here. Found it. Kept walking right past it. I thought it was down where that window was. These were Alice's photos. I recognized the style. One showed the clicker sinking into darkness. The other showed a light in the shape of a bullet. They were important, even if I didn't know what to do with them yet.
I needed a new draft of the story. One that would get me ahead of Scratch. Zane's room, 665, was upstairs. The elevator would take me there. Something told me Zane wouldn't be happy to see me this time. I'm in control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head! Scratch wrote return, not me. You're a fucking liar. You've given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous, that, that we didn't deserve to get out. And then he showed up. Scratch, he promised to write. To get me the hell out of here. He was magnificent. A visionary. Turn and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. But you can still catch him before he gets out, before he gets to your wife. When you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site in my cinema. Where my film Nightless Night is playing. I told you not to try anything. have gone missing beyond the labyrinth of me when you're lost you're lost in your own company and cut oh. now that is drama I had a million questions about Zane, but I had more pressing concerns. I had to find the movie theater Poet's Cinema. The next murder site was there. Zane had created the film in tandem with Return to escape the dark place. So now we gotta find the cinema. Armageddon with the gifted, thank you so much. Gotta get back down to the street level.
I think. I have no clue where I'm going, actually. I went the long way? I, I didn't even see another way. Let me check the get back here. I'll check the map. Oh, the elevator back down to the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, how did I not see the elevator though? This hallway looked different. I'm saying I don't see the elevator. Maybe because it's right fucking here. Don't worry about it. I got it. I was looking in all the wrong places. See the searchlight beams of the movie theater on the far side of the plaza. Right now. I'm asking you shall receive. The musical part? Oh man, that was that was a lot. It was interesting.
film, sir. Okay, so that did open the door. I'm gonna go check the roof anyway, see if maybe there's a stash box up there. Thought this would be like an alternate way in. A lot of jack diddly up here. The cinema lobby was a gateway to other realities on the silver screen. I could set a scene here. The main event was the murder. I had to find my way to it. They would surface from the dark with their depraved acts of violence and fade back into the night, leaving behind bloody crime scenes and clues heavy with obscure meanings that led nowhere. Arriving at the cinema, I felt a monumental, terrifying revelation trembling before me, ready to open its jaws and swallow me whole. This place had significance to the cult. There was something to use there. I was missing something. Safe room down here. A lot of stuff that we can throw into the safe over here, so I'm gonna go empty out my inventory a little bit. Come back and grab that stuff up. I'm gonna change the scene here in a second. I just wanna make because sometimes when you change the scene, some areas that you have access to become inaccessible, so we're gonna go ahead and grab all this loot before we change the scene. writing at some point I can't stop there's too much at stake uh, go grab that here real quick
Just took that inventory filled up already. So we'll just keep that as our standard inventory right now. Let's change this. The first step toward the murder site. I was making progress. Someone had barricaded themselves in the room. So we're gonna undo the scene and go in there and redo it. Generally, when you do that, it teleports you out. Let me undo the scene. Now that we know which way to go, at least. Now if I switch it, teleport me all the way out. believe two of New York's finest they had performed endless favors to earn their place among us we had something special waiting for them and something very special for you Alex Casey who's your leader Alan Wake hmm? scratch Zane give me a name <laughs> you will meet him soon enough there was no end to the corruption. It fit the genre, so I'd use it. Murder Hobo, I appreciate you, brother. Kige, it's all good, man. I'm always glad to have like a showcase of some of these games for you guys. It's a theater hall. Let me see what's up here real quick. We've got two scenes that we could mess around with. Over to Pulp first.
that must be hell right there, chat. Movie that never begins. into La La Land. A sad bunch of clowns in funny masks and hoods pretending to be a secret society. Well, maybe it is you who's playing a role, Mr. Casey. A role carefully laid out for you. A puppet blindly performing the ritual steps for the glory of the cult. Huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? Nightless night. A clip of the lost film survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the Nightless Night, you will finally see. Nightless Night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story. See. So we'll switch this one now over to New York's finest. The scene changed with the story. Wake. Cops had gotten their 15 minutes of fame with the cult, and it had been a scream. They were the murder victims. I had to find a way into the projection booth somehow. in the clip holding my lamp. Was he playing me in his film? Zane's lamp on the screen had no light. I could transfer the light in my lamp to his. going already done mystery was around his lost film and early work made in Finland. Nightless Night, rumored to have mystic properties. Some claimed it was a snuff film, that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. 
There were no known surviving copies, but the cult chased it as if it were their unholy grail. Just like Wake's books were. Back out into the night. The seedy alley away from prying eyes was a good scene for dark deeds. Switch up the scene here in a sec. So we're going to try New York's finest. <gasps> Maybe not in that one. Um, hope that it work. Well, maybe it was New York's finest. I seen a thing there. this initiation do you nah, i'm sure we'll just chant some ceremonial stuff N nothing to it well it's about time we paid our dues made plenty of their problems disappear dumped all those nobodies down that chute what we did or didn't do it's all behind us now we're going straight to the top partner yep like we died and went to heaven Uh, Rich, I plan on playing um, Sekiro at some point. Yeah, I, I plan on checking it out. The police car felt important to the story. Straight to the top. The dirty cops looked down at the city. Their city. They had committed repulsive deeds to get there. They told themselves it was worth it.
75% chance to return our light charge on that. I could change the plot from up here. Call it the word. Someone had fallen to their death from the rooftop. Don't you fucking move, or I'll blow you away. You got me, Mr. Casey. I'm all yours. Go ahead. Ask that burning question in your mind. How did you do it? How did you get me into that film clip without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed. Where he will project a new reality onto this one. And now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. No, no, no! Crazy bastard! Why'd he jump? The projection booth. Was that where I find the murder site? Okay, so now we gotta go back inside, use the Grand Master scene to get into the uh, projector booth. What one did I use to get back inside? Well, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the fam. Seriously, thank you. I don't think that's gonna get us back in. Which one did we come down here on? Was it the clip of the Lost film? We gotta go down the chute.
got stuck on the fucking wall. Which with the five months, man. Thank you so much, dude. And I hope you enjoy. It's a little bit of a mind F for sure. And Paul, thank you for the gifted brother. How you doing today? Just trying to figure out how to get back inside, guys. This way. I think it was New York Finest that got us up top, right? I Heard couldn't it. add a new element from here. I'd have to go to the scene. Oh no 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 we gotta switch it to Grand Ma or the Grandmaster. in a maze of film equipment. There had to be a way to the projection booth from here. I wasn't alone. I was back where I started. A loop within a loop. I had to keep going. I'm here, you son of a bitch! Show yourself! Who, who was it? Who said that? The grand master of my ass. You're a clown in a mask. I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron! in the story was losing it. 
I wasn't far behind. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find a way to the murder site. I'm here, you son of a Hello? Bitch. Hey! Show yourself! Who, who was that? Who said that? That's a real clever trick, asshole! You can run, but you can't hide! The grand master of my ass. You're a clown in a mask. I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron. Why don't you come here and say that to my face, buddy? Then we'll see who's the moron. It's gone. But I saw someone. What's going on, Chet? I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find a way to the murder site. I'm here, you son of a bitch. Show yourself. Who, who was it? Shut, Shut up. up. That's a real Shut up. Shut Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You can run, but you I'll can't get hide. you. I'll get all of you fuckers. fuckers. You're a clown in a mask. Casey? I'm the... Who's there? <laughs> Look, you got the wrong guy. I, I'm not Alex Casey. I only play him in the movies. He's just a fictional character. What, what? What's going on here? You don't have to kill me. You don't have to go get that knife and stab me. You can just give up and go back. Forget about the ritual sacrifice to open the way forward. The ritual sacrifice to open the way. No. <laughs> don't do it. You don't have to become a monster. I mean, we kind of do, don't we? The knife where it is in the back and go. A knife in the back? Everything about this was absurd. Our dialogue forced and ridiculous. In desperate need of another pass. But I'd play along to see where it took me. Dude. Knife. Oh no! Oh no, you don't! You'll be sorry! Sorry, I'm gonna have to stab you with this knife. Dude. What the fuck? Dude, that man is booking, bro. I gotta stab you. Come back. Richard with the gifted. Thank you so much. Coffee World. I was getting close. Welcome, Alex Casey. You've done well. You've played your role perfectly. Everything. <laughs> 
out of your mouth is a damn lie. The only place any of this makes any sense is in your psychotic brain. As a fictional character in a story, you fulfilled your purpose. You brought the writer of the story here. You can go now, Casey. No, 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 I'm not going anywhere before I get some answers. How was I in that movie? How, why does all this feel so familiar? What? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? No! And welcome to you, Alan Wake. What the hell? This is the ritual to lead you on. We are just one step away from your final destination, Mr. Wake. But first, here is an unanswered mystery for you. If Casey was fictional, and you assumed his role as the detective, are you now fictional too? Whose story are you living, Mr. Wake? The visions are getting under my skin, coming too close for comfort. Not a separate layer, but mingling with my own reality in the dark place. Wait. Dead end. This can't be right. Did I miss something? I'm supposed to stab that dude. Fucking ran off. Wait, what? The mask was the key. This is how I could help her. Saga Anderson, listen. I, I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? I mean, with Scratch. I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. Did we have family in the horror story? Closer now. Closer than ever before. But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. Parliament Tower. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending.
Onko täällä ketään? Ahti. <tos> Sanovat, se joka varjoon tyytyy, valon ihmeestä paitsi jää. <tos> Kato. 
tuhoajan pojan paluu. Ja häntä koipien välis. <tuhu> Tuliko hakemaan anteeksi Antti? Uutiset mistään paluusta ovat ennenaikaisia. Tulin vain käymään. Ja nyt kun muistan millaista tämä touhu täällä on. En viivy kauaa. Missä veljesi luuraa? Pisti hengiltä. Rupes käymään aivoa se aina länkytys. Uhrilla ja mestarilla. Mutta ei se paskaveli kelvan edes siihen. Sä olit mestarin valittu. Vaikka mä koskaan ymmärtänyt, että miksi. Päiviltä pitäisi sinutkin pistää. Mitä on? Nyt tuli tupe rapinat, poika. Leikataan parta! Leikataan pojalta parta! Miksi palasit? Kun kerran lähdit? En aikonut. Mutta nyt löydän itseni täältä. Nyt on kai kirottu. Kirjoitettu sadistisen kirjailijan tarina. Hienän kehää. Maa on syklinen laulu. Miten siellä valtion kontrollivirastossa menee? Väärä virasto. En ole siellä töissä. Sitä paitsi. Sain potkut. Ei olisi tarvetta talonmiehen apulaisen. Ei ole. Tämän tilan isäntä katosi yön selkää vuosia sitten. Sen jälkeen kun sinä lähdit. Merkit on ilmassa, että multakin loppuu hommat pian. Siksi kyselen virastosta. Ehkä saan sieltä töitä. And he did get a job there. Malia. Mille juomme? Yöttömälle yölle. Um, you know, she extra for that. Oh my God. Sanotaan, että Aleen kurkotti liian pitkälle yön syövereihin. Eikä löytänyt sieltä enää pois. Kannattaa varaa sitä Aleenin mustaa leskeä. 
Taisit olla vähän heikkona häneen. Pelkäsin häntä. Me pojat oltiin aina vähän toivottomia naisten kanssa. Kierrä kehää. Tämä on spiraali. Aina 
Thirsty chap. Manual with the three months. Thank you so much. What did I even just watch? Obviously, that was Tom's way out of the darkness. I don't even know what I just watched. Like, am I, am I just dumb? Like, I literally felt like, I, I felt like maybe my brain isn't normal because I, I couldn't, I don't even know what was going on. Like, am I, am, it, it, did it just go over my head? What, am I supposed to know what's going on? nightmare but I damn well try this case would never be closed I have more questions now than at the start the irony of being trapped in a postmodern detective story I felt watched the eyes of some unseen audience on me I wanted to turn to the hidden camera and tell them to fuck off but I didn't know where to look to break the fourth wall. There would always be another case for Casey. A million stories in this dark city. The night opened up to welcome me. I walked into her arms. Roll credits. Did everybody in the, in the chat, when, uh, or if you're if you're watching this after, did you guys? Is that movie supposed to be watched? Did like everybody watch that in full, or did most people just walk right past it? was ringing again. Somehow I sensed it wasn't Zane this time. So Flag, was your was your life better because you because you missed it? Hello? Hello. It wasn't Zane. It wasn't Scratch either. Huh? You're me? Me? I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand. A dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. And that is by your own choice. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. Alice's photos you found from the shoebox in the talk show basement. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put them in the shoebox at her statue at the plaza. To help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? What's going on? How many writers does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. At a different point in time, I can't even get out of here. I'm going to see the talk show building. 
basement. Adi had guided me there. I bring the photos to the shoebox by the statue. I'd been here many times before. I didn't know how many. This felt different, like my last chance. If it wasn't already too late. was in there, writing his horror story. There was still time to stop him. I needed to get inside. There's so much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. God, I tried so hard. I can't. I can't. decision. Most of you won't understand. People call me an artist, but I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to show the world what I see. I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art. Shortly after the dark, she will be missed, but the vampire. Final graphs.
tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits out of return. <laughs> I had seen this before. This was not Scratch. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. I killed her. I found Wake here. He appeared because of this. The summoning. That was Wake. Scratch wasn't pretending to be Wake. They're the same person. He's here! Scratch! Watch out, Anderson! Estevez, Scratch is Wake with the dark presence inside him. He wants the clicker. Change of plan. I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it and blast it with all you got. Oh, 
I gotta trap them in here. Need to rotate the lights. I'm tracking. Right, let me heal. Get him where it hurts, kiddo. You're going down, devil. Okay, I'm tracking. Super, super clean. It's too fast. Anderson, pin him down with gunfire for me to get the light on him. On it. Damn it. Anderson, we lost power. Back up. Huh.
be the bearer of bad news, folks, but it's official. Tear Fest is canceled. Today, Bright Falls feels a little less bright. to get to our next gig. We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. Don't screw it up, Tom! I'd seen it all play out, like a horror movie I'd been forced to watch. The Dark Presence held all the cards now. Welcome back, Wake. You are awake now, right? With the shadow out of you? Some good news, at least. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. Scratch. The dark presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. With the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he has the clicker. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. <sighs> well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help, but this is all on you. I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up. Hit it then. All right, hold on, give me a sec. So how, how, does anybody know how long I am from the end of the game? Give me one sec. Ah. Like 30 miles. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're, we're... I didn't know if it was going to be like a couple more hours, or, you know what I mean? So that's why I had to ask. So 
I have like no ammo like whatsoever. I was awake again, clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left. A dark forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Alice taken from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence. Definitely use some more ammo. Okay, so we got to make it back to the parking area. But Alan doesn't have a map. We gotta, we gotta be ready. For that end part right there, there's quite a few guys that show up. Since we're in the middle. When I was pulled back here across and over and weakened it, 
made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened, but I could feel it getting stronger. Waking up, I thought it was haunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over. It turned me into scratch. Go, I guys. brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in. A leap of faith for Alice. With no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead because of me. And I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. Another way to look at it? I had brought the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this, I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrified. We finally get to see Deerfest chat. This is not what I expected. Alan Wake's latest novel, Return, is breaking every literary record in existence. It's the great American novel. new novel by Alan Wake, Return. Return is printed on a firm, high-quality white offset, uncoated paper stock, making every page a true delight to turn in your fingertips. Alan Wake's brilliance is on full display with his choice of a hardcover book jacket made of a premium enamel stock with gloss lamination that That's is the both same without the brother. and pleasant to the touch. Isn't that right? Wake set a high standard with his previous novels, but I can say without hesitation that Return contains the best and most compelling book description on a back cover that I have ever read. This book blurb is truly riveting and will keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. 
It is accompanied by a tasteful photograph of Alan Wake's home here in Bright Falls. The book weighs one pound and three ounces. Return is a true masterpiece. I'll give it a perfect score of five Alma beers out of five. How about you? I needed to get a copy of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. Huh? I was inside Scratch's ending, a perverse version of reality. The townspeople brainwashed. Everyone and everything revolved around Return, as if it had just been published. All sold out. A spellbinding tour of force. I mean, this is what this doesn't seem that bad chat I could see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo that's where I had to go to rewrite the ending of return I had the book now. I could write my ending to return. I had to get to the writer's room to stop this horror story. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel return come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. in the the nursing home oh the door with the swirl on it I had to find another way inside Now you're hungry. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, it's went a little longer than I expected, so I um, went and grabbed my dinner real quick. Wife made some lasagna. One of my favorite. What if we got to cut through the basement? Maybe can we get up top through the basement? I mean, I would just break the glass, reach through, and unlock the door, but I guess that's just me. Here. Alice? What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? 100% a trap, dude. We have zero bullets.
Rosie. Rose, right? From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. Yo, I'll Rose is the actual MVP hero of the story, chat. Upstairs. We all thought she was the crazy. Room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. We all thought she was crazy, but she's the hero. We loop around and come to Ketterton. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest pulp. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can give life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fist trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ahti. Wait, seriously? I was here. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. I needed an ending that took everything already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. The genre of victims and monsters. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is Aero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Pay the price? Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker.
she got pulled into the dark place? Or she went... What's going on? Am I in the field office? No. It's the mine place. My work. It's all gone. What the hell is happening? I can't leave. Why can't I leave? Wonder if it's her mind saving her from the dark place. The dark presence took over Casey, stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Cauldron Lake. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? What? Failed who? What's happening to the case board? Other saga. The board says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in a dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? This isn't me. Logan. I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. No. Casey. Casey depended on me, and I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He needed me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. Scratch took Casey. And it's my fucking fault! I'm a terrible mother. I let my daughter die. I'm a failure. This is what I deserve. The story. My life, my family is just part of a book. Another white asshole deciding what I get to do, how I get to do it. He took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story, from him. He used her. She's not dead. God damn it. That's savage. Just spamming that shit. No! I'm done with this. It just keeps coming back. Something's very fucking wrong here. You never loved me. Uh. 
Yeah. Yeah. You look silly. Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Their weekly ritual. This case, this room, is any of it even real? Casey was hurt. I should have been watching his back. Casey was being corrupted and I did nothing. Scratch was wake. How could I miss that? these why is this happening what's happening we scratched the whole time <clears throat> what Wait, what? It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my fears, my doubts, my insecurities. What the hell? Too much time away from Logan. Logan. The horror story used her. I've had it with you, cultist maniac. I never should have left Casey at the hotel by himself. The cult was just the beginning of the spiral. It was so obvious the Koskala brothers were behind the cult. I mean, I wouldn't say so obvious. Those commercials were, were pretty good. That's not... No. What's happening to me? Come on! I hate this, but it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts, focus on the case, but I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning. I need a way out before I'm dragged under. God damn it! Be a way out. I need a way out. Oh God. None of this is real. I've lost it. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full-on psychotic break. I drag Logan away to a tin can in watery. She's dead because of me. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. It's over. There is no point trying. Everything is lost. There is no way out. 
no way to fix this. There's no way out. I'm stuck here forever. Just me and my past. My guilt. My mistakes. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. Oh! The lights! No. No. I'm not giving up. Focus, Saga. The answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. Scratch was too much for us. I should have made KC stay behind. My badge. Never should have taken this case. I saw this online and it made me think of you. Okay, what are you doing? Don't make a big deal out of it, Mom. No hugs, no hugs. Sometimes I just get in my head too much. So, thanks for pulling me out. You're really the best, boss. Really. Okay, talk soon. Anderson. A knife in the arm is just, just part of the job. If you're gonna keep fussing, you can get the hell out. Look, Dad, leave the whiskey. whiskey. Good luck. Good luck. I made a matching one for me, so bring me back something cool from Washington. See, so it wasn't all bad. No, I'm not reading anymore. I am honored by this award. Thank you. While our agency must continue to improve. The work we do here, protecting communities, pursuing the truth, it's the most important work there is. I can't let this place make me question myself. I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. God damn it. Logan may match him left. What the fuck? Daughter isn't Logan isn't anyone's plot device. She's my daughter. And she's not dead. She's dead! I didn't save her! Our job is dangerous. Casey himself told me that. It's no one's fault. Fuck! 
fault. It is, it is. Shit. No, this is all real. I know it is. The FBI will kick me out. I'll have nothing. It's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. I'm my own worst enemy. The fears in my head are stopping me from trying. From leaving. Shit! What the fuck? You're missing one more piece for me being a terrible partner? It's okay to be afraid, but I can't let this end here. I can't, I can't, I can't. I just, I just want it to stop. Giving up won't make this stop. Logan needs me. Casey needs me. God damn it. I've made mistakes. I'll make more. But I can do better, and I can start by leaving this room. I'm afraid it will hurt, but nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. It will hurt, but I will fight. I can lead by overcoming my fears and doubts. Job done. What the fuck? The Dark Place tried to trap me here. The only way to leave is facing it head on. Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare and find a way back home. Phone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Hello? It's me again. You need to go to the statue of Parliament Tower Plaza. To make your ending come true, you will need what's inside the shoebox there. Alan put the pictures in there, right? The ending? A shoebox? Who is this?
The sheriff. Agent Anderson. Is that really you? Sorry, this place likes to play tricks. Sheriff Breaker? What happened to you? How did you end up in the dark place? I was brought here. Snatched away from the morgue by a man named Orlin Dorr. Been trying to piece it together for... Well, it feels like a long time now. I need to get to Parliament Tower Plaza. Do you have any idea where it is? This place, it's like trying to find your way around in a dream. I've been trying to map it, but it keeps looping, shifting. Like, there were many versions stacked on top of each other. There is a page. It describes Dor finding his way through this place. I tried to follow the steps, but... No luck. Who is this door person? He's here. Somewhere. I've been seeing his face in my dreams for years. <laughs> this whole thing is insane. But he is much more than he seems. He's connected to all of this. Can I see that page, Tim? Of course. In fact, it's the page I tried to give you back in the morgue in Bright Falls. Huh. Now that I think about it, maybe Dor brought me here to keep you from reading it. Here. I'm gonna keep looking for Dor. The closer I get, the closer I feel to waking up. I need to find the man behind the curtain. Warling Dor walked across the rain-slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. He stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. I know what I need to do. The door to Parliament Tower Plaza was at the construction yard. Well, let me do that profile real quick. This is the first time I've seen a page about Warland Door. Who is he? A door that stands between two rooms is in both. A door that can lead anywhere, is everywhere. That door is the center. He governs the currents of reality. With all the powers mixed up in this, it's hard to know who's playing who. Opening too many doors. This isn't important right now. I can look into it later. The page describes him moving through the door. How can I do that? The dark place has many faces, and many names. It is a mirror, reflecting all possible realities. The family of doors have the power to shift between these realities. Here, and elsewhere. If I can find a way to navigate through this nightmare, maybe I can find a way to get back home. Okay, so I don't have very I don't have much ammo and we only have our handgun. I made it. I need to get up to the street and find that statue. I wonder if we're in Alan's version. <clears throat> Enough already. You pushed me under. the shoebox the clicker oh, the whole and some kind of bullet 
shining with light. How did the clicker get here from Washington? You know the clicker would be there. This is important. Alan's lost. He doesn't have the ending. He needs your help to finish the story. How am I supposed to help him from here? Okay. I'm in the. Alan. So I wonder if this was the. We need to talk about the ending. Saga. What is this? My mind place. I've reached out to you like this before. But I understand more about it now. You see a visions too. I used to think they were ideas, inspiration, but they're real. Just like this now. I try to use them to make the story come true. So this is coming from both of us. Maybe that's how we could communicate in the overlaps. We could use this to stop Scratch. First, I need the ending. So there's a problem with the ending? I don't have the ending. It has to be perfect, but I don't have time to figure it out. I don't know what to do. Fuck. I'm so sorry. This whole thing is a fucking mess. I agree. But we can still figure this out. And what exactly does perfect mean? The elements of the ending need to come from the story's pre-existing parts. To make matters worse, this is a horror story. You don't need to tell me this is a horror story. Right. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. There must be a way to bring a hero into the story. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. So the ending has to be earned, set up by the story. You can't build a case without supporting evidence. That's the only way to make it stick. I can't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. I have an idea how to help Casey. He's a real person who I twisted into a character. He isn't my creation, so he isn't a suitable host for the Dark Presence. I can write that into the ending to drive that fucking thing out of him. Well, if the ending has to fit the story, this is how I see it. Return is a story about a story that comes true. And I'm a character in the story. Not just a character. The hero. Okay, a hero. <laughs> in any case, I've been through hell to be here. And this is my life. It feels earned to me that I rise above the story and be there to create the ending. Yes. That's what we're doing. Here, now. We're figuring out the ending I need to write. This isn't Scratch's ending. But this isn't your ending either. This is our ending. You aren't the only one deciding these things anymore. You're right. 
I can't do this alone. Every time I write, things only get worse. You beat this thing back in 2010, Alan. And here you are doing the same again. You're a hero, too. We're in this together. Then let's bring it home. The ending will have to be dark, no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost, and the hero must pay the price. One of the heroes. The scales always need to balance. <sighs> Fuck it. Let's go with this. Are you sure? There's no time for anything better. Scratch could be here any second. Then that's our ending. I have the clicker. I'll find a way to get it to you. And I'll get the pages down. See you on the other side. I need to retrace my steps back to Caldera Street Plaza. I arrived in the dark place through the fountain. Maybe I can leave that way too. The ending chat. Caldera Plaza is back through the subway. I have to hurry. I wonder if it's gonna make any more sense, if it's gonna make sense, or if I'm gonna be, if this is gonna be one of those games I'm confused at the end. Finished it. The ending we talked about. I have the clicker and the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. I feel like I've always been on this journey. Okay. It must end here, this darkness. What lies under the surface now shifts. A play of shadows catching my eye, thrusting my face into the water. He's here. It's shockingly cold. Past the mirror of the surface. <laughs> And I will see. I see? The end. Scratch! Now! <laughs> a white searing light of truth that for a flash pierces the shadows and reveals the hidden horror. And in that moment of silence, the whispered message finally heard. Shadows fool us all, subterfuge to get our price of admission. Darkness not as a monster, but as emptiness. We're none the wiser. No answers, no truths. The hero turns to look inside. It's destroyed by what he sees, and is redeemed. Saga said we're both heroes. I'll pay that price. So will she. We are here to kill the monster. I pray nothing comes after this. Nothing will sleep. This is how we win. Is it too easy? What if this is still the dark place, another dream to wake up from, always coming back to the beginning? The memory of what came before burned away by this terrible realization. Maybe it's a mercy, forgetting. 
to know nothing when we loop around. Back to the loop. is just for you. After the haunting started, I got in touch with an organization that was still looking into what happened in Bright Falls. I went to their offices and something happened there. After I got home, I could suddenly remember everything. I remembered being trapped inside that lake, a dark ocean with, with Echoes of myself, my, my, my fears, my photos. Inside a dark tide of, of madness, the same events and images looping again and again. And then I saw a light, your light. You dove in just as I swam out. You never drowned. And you're still there reaching out. That is what the haunting is. They can't keep getting away with this. I can see you because I've been there too. I chose to come back to the dark place. That is why I put on this exhibition. I had to mislead you so that I could get you to where you needed to be. The only way out of your loop is destruction or ascension, light or dark. And we've covered the destruction part many times over. 
And we're getting to the Ascension bit by bit. Time means nothing here. You'll still need to go through the loop. But I will keep showing you the images you need to see. The light you need to see. Until you're ready. Ellen. I think we're getting close. Those her? <gasps> it's not a loop. It's a spiral. Was that, was that supposed to make it any better? Was that supposed to make it better chat? It made it worse. I don't, now I really don't know what the fuck is going on. Ridiculous. <laughs> it makes the, th the funny thing is, is uh, the original Alan Wake actually came out in 2010, right? And then this game is supposed to be 13 years later when this one came out in 2023. So it was, it was pretty cool that they actually implemented the time in between both games. Like, you know, the gap. Um, you know what I mean? It, it, it was pretty cool how they kind of played that into a game. I don't think I've ever seen a game do that. But... I mean, ultimately, guys, it really was a really good game. Um, the the combat bits of it were kind of the same. Like, you know, I feel like the enemies were very... The couple of the boss fights were pretty good, but, like, the overall just enemies you meet, for the most part, um, quite predictable, easy to deal with for the... Uh, you know, but ultimately, yeah, it was, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. The story was definitely just... Had your brain all over the damn place. But all right, guys, thank you again. Um, I do appreciate those of you guys that stuck with this. Uh, we'll be going ahead and uh, I'll be firing up another stream here in just a few minutes. Uh, but thank you again. I really appreciate all the love and support. If you guys have it on your way out, smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.